Chris Sales did something to CJ, apparently. You know, Martin Lewis, he be coming up with these stories, but he fact checks them, okay? So I don't know what this video is about, but we're about to find out. Welcome, welcome everybody to my channel. Those who are new, thank you for joining the team, the crew, the family, the tribe, the mafia. I don't know, but thank you for joining us. So Chris sells this song. I don't know what they're what he's talking about. Martin Lewis resurrected, uploaded a video called Chris Sales Did This to CJ. Okay, so I don't know what he's talking about but we're gonna find out together and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in because i want to know now what the hell this is about y'all ready let's enjoy so i get a lot of dms from people making claims and this claim i had to look into i was like really is it really that serious because i let you guys know if something's a reach or if it's not and apparently chris sells has been really inappropriate with his son allegedly so this what is what the dm says Hi, so in the Chris latest video, it was some bed bugs his brother Dwayne bed where CJ sleeping. Also, something weird going on in that house. They'd be touching CJ private part and CJ touching his uncle private part. And Chris asking a little boy how big his pee is. Can you check it? So I'm just what? like, alright, so let's look into it. Important news, this video is sponsored by me. <laughs> Of course he's gonna sponsor this damn video, but we're gonna go ahead and fast forward that real quick. But anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Let's get straight into the drama. Get so to here's it. a clip of one of the videos that this girl's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get on my foot. <laughs> Okay, so far, I see nothing wrong with what he's doing. At all. At all. He's not touching him inappropriately. I don't think so. But let's go ahead and watch. <laughs> I don't know what's more weird. Chris Sells tickling his son's balls or Chris Sells not coughing. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. It is a bit weird. Okay, let me rewind that. So he's saying... That he was tickling his balls. Okay, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I think he was just getting his inner thigh. But let's go ahead and rewind that so we can take a second look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get off my foot. That did look like he was getting him there. I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I don't know. I don't know what to think right now. I don't know what to think. Let's continue watching. I don't know what's more weird. Chris Sells tickling his son's balls or Chris Sells not coughing. I ain't gonna lie, it is a bit weird. It's a bit like, did you really have to put that on camera? Like, you couldn't edit that out? Like, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. I Next don't know. One, I don't know. People felt that was really strange. Seal the frozen half spheres in the balls. Freeze them again. And pour the finished forks into an empty carton of milk. Coronavirus! <laughs> is this milk or frozen cheese? Okay, everyone has very mixed opinions of this. Some people say I don't it's know. okay for a dad and a mom to kiss their son in the mouth. I still don't know what to think. I don't know. I feel like I'm stuck in the middle. The tickling, obviously, it wasn't... It, it, the intention behind it was not perverted. Uh... Maybe she tried tickling somewhere else, though. <laughs> I, I don't know. And then the kissing of the lips. I think it's okay, especially at CJ's age. He's only, what, four or five years old? I think it's okay for a parent to kiss their child on the lips. One little tap, right? Just like one little tap like this. Right? 
Like that. Now what Chris was doing, he was kissing him all over the face and then also kissing him a lot on the lips. So that's kind of, that kind of made me feel a little uncomfortable watching. It was a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? Ah. And I would still feel the same way if it was Queen doing it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know exactly what you think. Are you stuck in between like me? Or do you think it's inappropriate? Or do you think it, there's nothing wrong with that? It's a parent showing their child love. Comment below. Me personally, I think it's very weird. But I wanted to look deep, deep, like, is it inappropriate? Is it, like, immoral? Me, when I see it, it's weird. It makes me think of, like, Flav Flav when that family would, like, kiss each other on the <coughs> lips. And I was just like, oh, okay. We're different people. Our whole family is different. Bitch, what? That is normal to us. Okay. So I okay, now that's fucked up. <laughs> that shit is just fucked up. Only because they are adults. They both are grown ass adults. It looked like they were making out. I decided to watch this video on Dr. Oz. He has experts and they're talking about okay. it. Okay. So you're gonna get my reaction. Let's hear it. Roll it. Let's see. People's opinions are far from universal. That's weird. I think this is fine. If you notice, the child is the one doing yeah. it. it. Looks like he's giving him mouth to mouth. I'm fine with it. It's unusual. I think it's totally okay to kiss your kid on the lips. It's natural. Okay, that girl who said it was natural probably didn't see that boy like fully kissing that grown ass man. I think it's a little inappropriate. Extended kissing on the lips? A little weird. My mom yeah, my sister agrees with me. It is weird. Mother and I still kiss on the lips every time I see it. That is normal to us. If they're at the point where you couldn't carry them on your back or pick them up, they're probably too old to kiss on the lips. We there you go. I agree with that. It depends on the age and it depends how excessive you're kissing them, how long you're doing it for, how many times you're doing it a day. There's, there's a limit. There's some limitations, okay? There's a certain time, certain age that you gotta just stop. Kiss on the lips all the time because Reed says that it's better that way, right? Okay. <laughs> See, that's Thank fine. You. That Thank is you. fine. <laughs> See how everyone's opinion is very different on this. It's like you have people that are like, oh my god, this is weird as hell. But then you have the other bunch of people that really don't care. A bunch of experts discuss this issue from all sides. Psychiatrist Dr. Suvam is here. Lifestyle and etiquette expert and author of that crazy be crazy Elaine Swan and primary care doctor Dr. Jen Cottle. Ooh, us. let's hear. So, and let's hear what these experts had to say about it. Dr. Martin Lewis. Hey, bitches! <laughs> so, what does science say about parents who are affectionate with their kids? Let's just start at that level. Just kid, parents who love their kids. Just affection. Parents who are affectionate with their kids are really setting their kids up for better physical and emotional mental health for life. Physical and emotional. And what you see is that these kids grow up, and even at the age of 35, they are more resilient, they're more adaptable to stress. They have 35% less chance of being obese, less chance of having heart disease. So you really are talking about even better brain development. A part of the brain called the hippocampus is larger for kids that are shown affection. And this is involved in memory and learning. Um, they're more motivated, more flexible. I did not think that was going to come out of her mouth. She looked a little bit confused on where she was and why she was there. I just got the Suvamas here. Look at her. Lifestyle and etiquette expert and author of <laughs> Crazy Be Crazy Elaine Swan and primary care doctor Dr. Jen. But she's intelligent. She's an expert. She speaks very well and very informative. Motivated more flexible. All right, so we got that part. I can, that was really interesting. What do you guys think in the comment section below? I still think it's weird as hell to be kissing your kids in the mouth. Affection, yeah, completely fine. But to be like full on kissing, like a, like, and putting it on YouTube, it's just weird. That's gonna be a different subject. Being affectionate, showing your child love, not just telling them that you love them, but also showing it, is the best thing you can do for your child. Obviously, she came up with the statistics and the percentages and numbers. There's a science to it. But on the lips and excessive, let's find out. 
Elaine, the social etiquette part of this. No, oh, let's get into this. So uh, etiquette is really more so about putting others at ease. And so if you're doing anything that's going to make someone feel uncomfortable, then you should not do it. That's one thing. But I do see one particular point in terms of age. You know, with toddlers and little ones and your preschoolers, kissing them on the lips is, is okay. But as children reach pubescent stage, it'll make people feel uncomfortable. Exactly. You can come to baby girl. <laughs> so you can do whatever you want to do at home with your own family oh, no. don't say that <laughs> don't say that because there's a lot of perverts out there messing up their children's lives and you know exactly what I mean when I say that the key is not making people feel uncomfortable, so don't do it in public. Okay, but if it's not good in public, why do it even in private? You know what I'm saying? That ain't the only thing that's kept in the household, okay? I know all y'all motherfuckers do and say things behind closed doors in your home that you would not do or say outside the house. Say, now you go to like the doctor lady and they end up talking about the risks of like breakouts. The James family is saying uh, they heard about a child being kissed on the lips and breaking out. And breaking out. And that's something I wanted to speak to because... <laughs> <laughs> the little kids are like, oh, I've broken out before my dad kissed me. It, it does matter in terms of age. When we're talking about infants, that's very, very young children. You know, infants, um, their immune system is very new. It's still developing. And they're very vulnerable to severe infections. <laughs> we all... And I've heard cases where actually babies contracted herpes because of it because people just come around kissing them in the face and the lips these babies are catching it if you're kissing someone like chris sells but no seriously that man be on how many girls he'd be doing and stuff like that and True. then he'd be coming back her kissing True. Mouth, like ew oh you brought up a good point that is true okay i'm not liking it now i think i chose a side <laughs> for very small children, for infants, that we don't kiss on the lips because we want to minimize the potential risk for infection. Coronavirus! <laughs> um, that just doesn't need to be there. And that's very specific with the young babies. I'll yeah. tell you, there's an old wives' tale in Turkey where my family's from, adding one more country in the mix, that you actually want a little of that kissing because you want the child to get the immune system and the bacteria from the parents. And that's what all you creepy men say out there. Like, that's what y'all always be talking about. Interesting. Because, and that's, we know that actually when children <laughs> deliver through the vaginal canal, they pick up the bacteria from the mom. Mm -hmm. And they actually, and it's a benefit as opposed to cesarean sections. So, Dr. Warren, what about the... Just... Okay, well, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about, but kissing your children by the lips can also be something cultural. In the United States, it might be considered a little bit awkward, a little bit uncomfortable, a little uneasy. But in other countries, it's more accepting. Like, like Italy, for example, they show their love through physical touch, physical affection, kisses. Just like, yeah, bitch, shut the up. The confusion <laughs> that might happen with kids if they're kissing their parents on the lips and then they see, as they get older and older, romantic opportunities or other people who don't think it's right. Yes. You know, the vast majority of children will be able to know the difference. But a lot of times, parents need to take cues from the children. So if the kid is hesitating and they're moving back, don't push yourself on them. So exactly. in our family, we do what the kids want to do. When they're very oh. small, they may actually kiss them. Are you talking about our family? Oh, your kids, not smothering your kids. I'm, doing, I'm showering them with affection. And when they're so little and they're so delicious, I, I can't even imagine not just... Kissing every piece of skin of there that could get out of here. Just keep making lots more of them so I can kiss them. What he's saying, let me rewind that. Hold on, did you did you catch that? <laughs> Little and they're so delicious. I I can't even imagine not just kissing every piece of skin of there that could get out of here. Just keep making lots more of them so I can kiss them. <laughs> okay then. Okay, him and Chris Sells will get along. Seriousness, everyone has like a whole different opinion on that matter. Weird. I think it's weird as F and just to put it on the internet, yeah, definitely. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Apparently, he asked the little kid how big his was. What? There's more? <laughs> What's going on here, Chris? What you doing to your child? <laughs> Baby, do you have a small pee pee? Oh, come yeah. on. Okay. <laughs> uh, the comedy! Yeah, the awkward silence. Oh, Chris, why do you keep putting yourself in a hole? It's always something you're doing, yo. Why would you ask a child 
if his peepee -pee is small? First of all, you're normalizing that question. You're making him believe that it's normal for people to ask him those type of questions. So if someone else was to ask him that question, let's say a predator, a pervert, he's gonna think it's normal because it's been asked to him before. You don't ask a child that, what's wrong with you? And look what he said. He said, yes, it's, he said it's small. This little boy said, yes, it's small. Like he don't, he don't know what the hell you, that's crazy. This is so real, it's just like, yeah. Say yes. 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 Okay, you told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now, people weren't happy with this. Some people said in the comments, Chris, you weird as F for asking that boy that disgusting question. I always supported you until now. The F wrong with you shaking my head. I always notice weird stuff in your videos, but this crossed the line. Y'all excusing him asking this little boy about his prizes. Y'all really saying it's a joke? I can't believe this. Who in the hell are all these random kids at his house? Seriously. Disorganized, unsupervised, by a responsible adult. Run a mock? What responsible adult will ask a child that on or off camera? Mm. Yeah, it's just really inappropriate and really awkward. Like, the thing is, if Chris felt that it was wrong or he had bad intentions, he would never have uploaded these videos. Like I said, the tickling was borderline a little eh. The kissing of the lips, eh. Asking this little boy about his private part, not okay. <laughs> not okay. The whole point is, Chris, you might have to think twice about what you're doing and what you're saying to these kids. Especially when you're going to upload it for the public to see. Expect backlash and it, that, that person did raise a good question like chris will have like random kids running in his house he and does and like, all the time he? does he like run a preschool what's going on let's dress the other i feel like i feel like chris is afraid to be alone he always has someone in the house not even someone like he'll, he's got groups of people in the house at all times even when he was married when you're married and you have a child, you have a family, it's your family home. You shouldn't be having people in and out of the house all the time. And now that you're not with Queen and you're divorced, you're a single father, you're bringing all these people around your son. You don't know. It's always a possibility that something can happen to your son when you're not fucking paying attention. Be careful, be aware, be cautious. At the same time, be fucking responsible. Stop acting like a child. You ain't a kid no more. How old are you? 25 or some shit? Grow up, man. You're hanging out with a lot of, you're hanging out with a lot of kids. And I'm not saying little, little kids. I'm talking about like 20-year-olds. Grow up. The one <coughs> CJ allegedly was touching his uncle's pee-pee. Oh. Yes, you got a small penis. Here we go. Yeah, you have <gasps> No, that's kid. He was not okay with CJ touching him there. It was so unexpected. He's so uncomfortable. Let's watch that again. CJ, for some reason, thinks that's okay. He's a kid, mind you, so it's not his fault. CJ allegedly was touching his uncle's peepee. -pee. Oh. Yes, you got a small penis. Yeah, you got a small penis. No, that's kid. Watch out, y'all. This is more than we have Told you, nigga. Hey, before I give my opinion, let's see what. What the fuck? going on and Chris how are you not gonna correct that when you see your son touching his uncle's peepee -pee, say something to your son let him know that that's not okay that's not say no 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 CJ don't touch him there okay that's his private area don't touch him there obviously CJ doesn't understand private zones private areas because Chris isn't teaching him that People said in the comments, someone said, there's some weird going on in that house. Did baby Chris touch his uncle's private area? The kid, they do that. They're innocent. Not for his age. CJ's five. I'm pretty sure CJ already went through them stages with his dad and mom. That is something he sees them do inside the house. And a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I've seen Chris himself touched the way down there on one of his other videos. Thank you. That has nothing to do with him being a kid. He's old enough to know. But if he sees them doing it and allowing it, he's going to think it's okay to go around touching other people and it's and it will turn out bad. 
This goes back to the first clip that I showed you of Chris Sells tickling his son's dingling. See, when you do this to your son and then you do it to a girl and That's he true. sees that, he's most likely going to copy it and do That's it to true. other people. Okay, how CJ was beating up Chris Sells' ex-girlfriend, I spoke about it in the video. If you want to see my full opinion of that, the link will be in the description below. But it makes you think, where did he learn that? And the problem with this is that he may end up going to school and doing this to other kids, Thanks. and he ain't gonna look cute. Okay, your teacher gonna be thinking, you go, hey, Chris Sells, it's your teacher here, Miss Martina, with a hairy beard. I just wanted to let you know that your son has been touching other kids' pee pees, and it's just really weird, and it's very uncomfortable. So can you please come to school and like discipline your kid or something? <laughs> Did you have the coronavirus? Now, do I think this is serious to the point like there's something going on no. in that house? That you don't <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not even going to say the word that you guys are probably thinking because I refuse to put that on someone's name and that's not happening because that's just really wrong. And that's why I didn't use the words because I don't think that's what's happening here. I just think Chris needs to be more aware and more careful on what he's showing his son and what he's teaching him. But do I think it's hella inappropriate? Yeah. And keep that shit off the camera. It's weird. But do I think it's inappropriate? Hell yeah. It's hella weird. <laughs> and especially if you're filming it and putting it on YouTube. Okay, there is some creepy people out there that are going to take this the whole other way. Now, regarding bed bugs, I don't think it's bed bugs. It could be fluff. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be sleeping in a bed with bed bugs because that will... Hurt. You know what I mean? So I highly doubt it's bed bugs. I think that's a reach. But anyway, guys, what do you think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button with the bell with notification on so I can update you on stories, especially stories like this. Smash the like button. Let's get this video to 5,000 likes. All right, all right, all right. I'll see you guys in another drama video. All right, so... <laughs> This topic was very interesting. I didn't even know this was going on. Uh, this video got serious real quick. Yeah, I already said my opinion throughout the video, so tell me what you think. I really want to know. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.